Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to share your character sheet with your DM uh, through the D&D Beyond uh, character sheet share uh, for a particular campaign. It's a super easy way to do it, but it also has a great deal of functionality. Now, first off, I wanted to make you aware that this works best either on an iPad or on a computer. Uh, the app that works on the phone works best for a lot of functionalities, but it doesn't work so well with the share function. And actually, a lot of times it's just going to put you in a continual loop of authentication. It doesn't work so well for that. So once again, iPad, computer, best way to work. So now that we've made that particular juncture, uh, you're working, you already assume that you already have an account with D&D Beyond, and you've created some characters. You have some characters created. Uh, you've done some work, but now what do we do with them? The, the dungeon master keeps saying, hey, I want to have your characters put in my campaign, uh, or they're trying to create it and they don't want know what to do. Now, from the dungeon master side, this is what it looks like. You have this My Campaigns, and you have this campaign here. You click on View Campaign, and you have this link here. The reason that becomes so important is because that is the link that you share out to your player characters. It gives them access to that content management, which is where all your sources are. Um, suggest that you really pay attention to which sources you want to share out. You don't want to share out all your adventures as well, because then they can read through all your adventures. But just share out the sources that you want to have available for that particular campaign. So this is the link that you share out with your players. And when they use this, so I just copied that, and then they should use that not to search like in a search engine, but they should actually put it in the URL line to actually send out like anything else. And then they send it out. Bam, it's connected to my d, &D uh, to my d, d Beyond account. It says, hey, which characters do you want to play? Now, the reason it did this is because I already have my d, &D Beyond account open and then I'm searching this again, it seems to work much more streamlined when you do that. So it's asking, hey, which, which characters do you wanna use? Which one do you wanna put in this campaign? Or it also says, hey, you can create a character if you want. So I'm gonna choose my half-elf ranger, Griffin, and I'm gonna have him join this particular campaign. Now you can see, now that campaign before that there was no one in, now there's one character in. Now, the reason that's so helpful is because now the Dungeon Master can view that character sheet. Now, why is it so helpful for a Dungeon Master to view a character sheet? Well, I'm going to tell you. First off, it's helpful for the Dungeon Master to be, see, be able to see the stats, particular passive perception, things like that. Uh, if you're updating your uh, hit points, uh, it's really helpful to be able to see where your hit points are at and see if you're getting knocked out, be able to set, see what weapons you have. Maybe put a magic item in there that fits your particular weapons that you already have. And they can even click on equipment and manage equipment and add things for you. And bam, it's already in there. You just found out you have some random magical item you didn't know you have. What's even better, though, that I find being a real role play a specific DM is if you click on notes, there's an area for you to type up a backstory. So if you add a really rich backstory, it allows the DM to tailor a campaign which has NPCs uh, and a storyline that's directly connected to the backstory that you already have. Once again, this was a uh, tutorial on how to use the D&D Beyond uh, campaign setting function and you use the link for you to be able to share your character sheet uh, with your DM. And I hope this helps you and uh, good luck.